So I've been trying to keep you guys up to date on the major class action lawsuit against the DNC filed by more than 100 Bernie Sanders supporters that recently moved forward. But to give you the context, Bernie Sanders supporters are suing the DNC alleging that they were defrauded seeing that they donated to a candidate that was running in a process that was inherently unfair because the DNC violated their own charter, specifically Article 5, Section 4, which maintains that the organization must remain neutral. Further, the former DNC chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who resigned in disgrace, constantly maintained that the DNC was in fact neutral. The Democratic National Committee remains neutral in this primary based on our rules. Now we all know that the DNC in fact was not neutral. One, because Debbie Wasserman Schultz was the co-chair of Hillary Clinton's 2008 campaign and the massive dump of internal DNC emails released by WikiLeaks revealed that the DNC wasn't just biased against Bernie Sanders, but they actively tried to sabotage his campaign in order to help Hillary Clinton. So Bernie Sanders supporters are now rightfully suing because they are owed compensation. Observer explains DNC attorneys claim Bernie Sanders campaign contributors donated knowing the DNC favored Hillary Clinton. As proof, they cite the Facebook profile of Rick Washick, who signed a petition prior to donating to Sanders in support of DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigning from her position at the DNC. Also cited are Rosalie Consiglio and Catherine Psycho, who posted articles on Facebook accusing the DNC of bias before donating to the Sanders campaign anyway. Citing these individuals and others who donated to Sanders after complaining about DNC bias, the DNC lawyer's motion to dismiss the lawsuit claimed, this sample demonstrates that aside from not being actionable, Plaintiff's theory that donors relied upon defendant's statements about neutrality to make donations they would not have otherwise made is not plausible. Their argument is that because Sanders supporters knew the DNC was biased against their favorite candidate and donated to his campaign anyway, the lawsuit should be thrown out. This blew my mind when I read it. I know I'm late to the party on this and you guys probably already heard about this story, but I had to share it. They're admitting that they were biased. This is really the first that we've heard from the DNC. I mean, this is their attorneys, but everyone was silent on it. Uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz never spoke about it, even though she had to resign in disgrace because she was trying to sabotage Bernie Sanders' campaign. Donald Trump brought it up to Hillary Clinton at the debate about how she hired Debbie Wasserman Schultz, he implied that, and how they actively tried to sabotage Bernie Sanders' campaign, and she was completely silent about it. So this is really the first time that we're seeing them admit that yes, we were biased, and you knew that when you donated, but you donated anyway. Unbelievable. Now, let me explain this. It's not about whether or not we knew that the DNC was biased, because that was unquestionable even before the DNC leaks. What it's about is the fact that you were biased to begin with, because it's in your own charter, Article 5, Section 4, Google it, DNC people, that states that you have to be impartial, but you weren't. So it doesn't matter if we knew or not. The fact that you weren't impartial, the fact that you actively tried to sabotage Bernie Sanders' campaign is all that matters. So no, the lawsuit should not be thrown out. In fact, it should go through and you should be sued. And every single Bernie Sanders supporter who donated to Act Blue should be compensated. Now, there's a second aspect to their defense, which is also ridiculous. So the DNC attorneys also claimed the lawsuit should be thrown out under the grossly generalized assumption that most people who donated to Sanders would not support the lawsuit seeking damages for the DNC and Wasserman Schultz favoring Clinton, the vast majority of whom almost certainly do not share plaintiff's political views, have no realistic means of disassociating from this action, brought in their name against the political party they likely support, wrote the lawyers, who had the audacity to claim those Sanders supporters have their First Amendment rights violated by being included in the class action lawsuit. The attorneys also argue that the hackers who released DNC documents were Russian without providing any evidence for their claims. Are you guys really lawyers? Like, I can't believe that you went to law school because that's not how class action lawsuits work. It 
If you're representing a class, that just means that this group of people constitute a class. That is a class of Bernie Sanders supporters. Now, the court has yet to determine whether or not Bernie Sanders supporters would be designated as a class. But even if there's just a small portion of Bernie Sanders supporters that want this lawsuit to go through, the DNC defrauded thousands, millions of people potentially, and they should be sued for that. How does that get you out of this? And furthermore, I don't give a shit if it was Russia, if it was China, or anyone else who hacked the DNC. I'm not condoning hacking, but by blaming Russia, you're just trying to avert attention away from your guilt. See, you shouldn't be blaming other people because you were caught with your pants down. If you didn't have your pants down in the first place, you would have never been caught. So this is one of the most ridiculous legal defenses I've ever heard. This will go right up there with the Twinkie defense. You can Google that. And now the Subway defense with Jared. You can Google that as well. Just absolutely absurd. And nobody in the mainstream media is covering this when really this is a huge case. But, I mean, the election is still going on and we don't want to hurt Hillary Clinton, right? Because she's just so innocent. She's so perfect. And Donald Trump is so horrible that we should allow the DNC to be able to defraud their supporters and let them get away with it. I don't think so. This is the legal argument the DNC knew that their lawyers would be making, and they knew it would be public while the DNC and Hillary Clinton is simultaneously trying to court over the millennial voters, most of which were screwed over by the DNC, and they're okay with that. So we've got multiple responses. So on the debate stage, Hillary Clinton refused to address the DNC bias that favored her. Debbie Wasserman Schultz outright denied it, and the new DNC chair, Donna Brazil, has done nothing to bring back the voters that her predecessor disenfranchised. And now the DNC's lawyers are just straight up admitting they were guilty as their legal defense. So this just further proves how incompetent this organization and the aggregate Democratic Party is. If you can't even get on the same page for a lawsuit and all have the same story, you have one person denying it, one person not talking about it, uh, the lawyers admitting guilt. I mean, it's just astonishing to me. So this organization is complete and utterly incompetent, in addition to them just being fraudulent as well. So, uh, sorry, this legal defense is complete bullshit. You should be sued. It doesn't matter whether or not we knew. It's the fact that you did the crime and violated your own charter and defrauded us. And it doesn't matter how many Bernie Sanders supporters want this lawsuit to go forward. If you would poll them, I would guarantee the overwhelming majority would support this lawsuit because they do feel as though they were defrauded, even if they are supporting Hillary Clinton now. So please spare me. This is such a terrible legal defense, and the DNC really should find some new attorneys if they actually want a chance at beating this case.